Now that we have our effector assembled, the next step will be to put our Bowden extractor together. This is going to go on the motor, but first we need to put our hobbed gear on, uh, and we're just going to leave it on loose, um, but we're going to put it on there because it won't fit if we go afterwards. Now we're going to take our motor, paying special attention to which way the wire is going, uh, we're going to, in this case, put it towards the small or the feed end. Uh, we're going to attach that there. Uh, First tightening down these two screws, the 6mm screw here and this 25mm screw here uh, to, to secure the motor to this housing. For our next step we're going to take this piece, run the two 30mm long 3mm bolts through it, and then take a 3mm nut, screw it onto one of these, leaving some space there at the end. Now take this and insert it onto the other two motor mount bolts, making sure that the one with the nut goes here and the one without the nut goes there. Tighten these and then once they're tight, crank this down uh, onto the motor mount. Next we're going to take this bearing, insert this axle on it, and then drop it into the idler piece here. And pop it right in there. There you go. This piece will now sit here on this rod that we've created and press down against the, uh, the hobbed gear there. Uh, and then the next step is to put the springs and all of that in here. And now we're going to take the 45 millimeter long 3 millimeter uh, bolt. We're going to put one 3 millimeter washer on it. We're going to put our spring and then we're going to put another 3 millimeter washer on it. Then we're going to install that whole assembly here on the extruder into this hole here and we'll do the same for the other. There are two of these and we'll put the nuts on the other side there uh, and that'll form the tensioner for our idler. Now that we've got both of these screws and springs installed we'll go ahead and, uh, and align this hobbed bearing with the little lines that are here in this where you can see uh, where the filament's supposed to go and then tighten that down. Once that's tightened down uh, we'll take our idler click it in there and then click these springs over it and then you'll get to see the finished unit. You can see here that we have our entire extruder assembled uh, it's looking pretty good. The last step will be to install the brass press fit in here. Uh, it screws down in like that and then a set screw holds it in place. So we'll go ahead and do that and then set this aside and call it done.